Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liam Murphy and today I'll be going over everything you're going to need to know about bringing home a new puppy. And why are we doing this video? Well, because we got a new puppy, Tig. Is he not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Ever. So right now he's about, how much would you say he is? About 10 pounds? I mean... Probably just over 10 pounds. Let me pounds. feel him. I would say about 10 pounds. See, I can't really, t to me, I mean, I mean, I'm only used to lifting a thousand pound dumbbell, so anything under 500 pounds to me is like zero, okay? Like, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But he's about 10 pounds right now. Okay, so some people might ask us, why another lab? Pro I'd say for me, the main thing is right climate. I think for me, they're an all-purpose dog, um, and one of my favorite things to do with my dogs is take them swimming. Which we live around a ton of water. We have the ocean right near us. However, I'm not taking this guy swimming because there's a ton of great white sharks. I love the fact that there's more sharks in the ocean. I think that's great. I love wildlife. Just not ones that can cut me in half with one bite. Ankles. Ankle deep. Ankle deep. <laughs> ankle deep. That's a rule in the Murphy household. When we go in the ocean, ankle deep water, right? Ankle deep. No, but we're in a very, very active family. So we need a dog that can, one, keep up with us, and two, handle the climate that we live in up here in New England. And the lab just makes sense to us. This little guy here makes dog number three in our household. Some people say that, that we're crazy. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're crazy. I get it. All right, we're... but I th but I think it fits who we who we are. Mm -hmm. I think it feels weird with one or two. Well, it's great for, for right now for Scooch, who's only a year old, and then Arthur is still in his prime. He really wants to play with other dogs. I think the dogs like to teach each other on how to do things, how to hunt, how to play, how to go explore. We bought our dogs a puppy. Let's talk about what it is exactly that you need when bringing home a new puppy. Definitely start with a crate. They will find wires that are perfectly mounted on mm -hmm. a wall and they will get them up and they will chew through them. So they'll eat anything, anything of value, anything that you use a lot, they'll go for, okay? Your cell phone, your shoes, the channel changer. Yeah, I call it the channel changer. So to me, a crate is vital. And what crates I like, I like the wire crates with the latches on the top, you know, on the front there, Easy right? Easy to set up. Easy to set up, pop them up, with. boom, done. And you'll see them here, we'll, we'll show you this one. And ours cost about, um, a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Now we got a small one. Not my choice, by the way, because I thought because you know medium. I, small. it's small. It's medium. It's medium. I know he'll outgrow it, but we can use it. Maybe Scooch will grow bigger. It's the same size as Scooch's <laughs> crate. It's no bigger than Scooch's <laughs> crate. It's the same thing. So if you don't want to buy two like us, <laughs> if you don't love shopping like this one, okay, if you don't just don't love Amazon, I, at, Amazon this point, at this point I feel like you're cheating on me with Jeff Bezos. I'm just saying, okay. Amazon. Prime. I get more letters from him than anybody else, but um, he hustles. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he does. So if you have a, do a puppy and you're afraid of getting a crate that's too big for him because he's going to go to the bathroom, right? which they will do. That's absolutely true. If they have too much room in the crate, they absolutely will go to the bathroom. Right? Absolutely. So you can still buy a full-size crate for when they fully grow up. You just want to check the specs on the crate that you buy. You want to make sure that it comes with a divider. Most of them do. They have a divider set inside of them. You can set the divider up anywhere in the crate to give it enough space that it's comfortable, but not too much where it'll go to the bathroom. Right? Next up, you want to get a collar and leash. I like to get the nylon leashes because they're easy to clean and you want to get more than one. Because in, these guys do like to chew a lot. They do go to the bathroom in really weird ways. Sometimes you're not paying attention. It's early in the morning. It spins around. It's going to the bathroom. And it gets it on the leash. And, and they're always disgusting. Step, yeah, they're always yeah. stepping over yeah. with at least one leg. Exactly. And if you're like me and that happens, you're out in the morning, I'm just going to take that leash and throw it away. No offense. And then when my wife goes, where's this other leash? I go, oh, I don't know. But I don't know what happened to it. I have Amazon I'm not Prime. cleaning. Uh, yeah, exactly. She's got Jeff Bezos on speed dial. But you want to have at least a couple of leashes because they do like to chew it and stuff like that. And probably going to get it. As much as I like to say that you, you should be vigilant and watch them, puppies are really difficult and you want to make sure that you always have one available. So if something happens, whether they chew it, poop on it, there's still always that chance that something will happen. Yes. So you always want to make sure that you always want to have a backup. So for leashes, you're looking to spend around, I would say 40. Call it $40 for the set for of the them. For the max. I'd say for the maximum. Yeah. Right? Because this one here likes to spend the maximum on everything. Um, if you buy it she once, she can't hear me it lasts if I do this, forever. If I do this, she cannot hear me. <laughs> There's no clue what I'm saying. <laughs> Could you hear that? No, I don't think so. So another thing you guys are gonna need are bowls, food bowls, food and water bowls. Yeah. And I like to do stainless steel bowls. I agree, nothing sticks to them. Plastic gets scratched and it's exactly. all bacteria. Right. So when they, they're digging the at them, they scratch them, they, they little, create little crevasses, if you will. Crevasses, depending on where you come from. I think they say that in Canada. They, they pronounce it crevasse, A. Eh? You know, they create these scratches and it's hard to clean stuff and get in there. Bacteria builds up. Next thing you know, your dog's all, you know, getting weird stomach stuff. So you don't want that. Yeah. Stainless steel, easy to clean, 
Yep, that's the way to go. About how much money? The, probably, I mean, you can get bowls between like eight dollars and fourteen dollars. How much? Did you, on, how much did you spend on them? Probably fourteen dollars. <laughs> how much? Forty-two dollars. Right. Yeah. So eight dollars. But why do that? Nobody wants that. I just want them to last a lifetime. The What's the difference between stainless steel and stainless steel? I mean, are they like not? Is it made out one made out of tin foil? How many? How much efforts did you put into decorating this house? It's out in our house. It kind 100 percent. It. <laughs> <laughs> also, you want to make sure you get a bed from just like a pad, like a nice pad, like a, like a little pad bed to go inside the crate for now while they're crate training. And that's going to cost you anywhere from about 30 bucks. I don't know. How much, Jen? I don't even want to know. You tell me. You tell them. <laughs> I I would say they're from 1999 if you want the cheaper ones or upwards of, of probably $80. Why wouldn't he need time? memory foam? Because I didn't want them to be jealous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right, so next up will be toys. The important thing about toys is to get two different types. One for playing, like balls, frisbees, stuffed tug animals. toys, stuffed animals, things like that. And then you also want chew toys. Nylabone, Kongs. Antlers. Antlers. Antlers are really, really good. I love them. Very expensive, by the way. Those are, those are appropriately I'm expensive. Surprised. So, to, So for toys, you shouldn't be spending any more than $20. Am I right? Or upwards of 50 in between. If you're bringing a new puppy home to your house, what you're really gonna need, you guys, is a crate, a bed, food, bowls, leash and collar, okay? Great. And some toys. So not a ton of things, but it can be costly. All right, so that's something you want to take in consideration. But out of all those things, the most important thing that you guys could need, right? The, I would say the most important thing that people need to have is time to pay attention to the puppy. When they're this small right now, when they're just little babies, they require so much attention. And the more attention you give them, the better they're gonna be. The easier they're gonna house train. Overall, you're gonna get a better dog. This is a, such they, an, it's they such sleep an better important, at night. exactly, they, it's such an important time, you guys. Such mm -hmm. an important time. Spend the time with them, okay? So the next step for us is training on this guy. So what we're gonna be doing is this. Once a week, in addition to breed review, we'll be doing weekly training episodes with, with Tegia, okay? We're gonna show you guys his progression, how we're doing it, why we're doing it this way, all that stuff. So we're gonna bring you guys along for the whole time. So each week will be a training video with the new puppy tag. We get a lot more content coming on to this. Super exciting. Super exciting. We get a lot more content coming. So uh, we're very excited about it. All right, so this guy's done for the night. He's about ready for bed. Had to introduce him to you guys. Hope you enjoyed him. Hope this video helped you guys. For anybody who is bringing home a new puppy, don't forget to make a vet appointment right away for your dog to have him checked over to make sure there's no health issues. First episode on this guy's weekly training regimen is going to be on house training. So stay tuned for that. That'll be up next Saturday. He's so excited. Look at him. He loves it. He <laughs> loves it. He's so excited about not peeing in the house, okay? Next up, I'm gonna read some emails from you guys, the viewers. So first email of the day we have is from Ryan, and he's from Sodak. I guess that's, I think that's South Dakota. Is that South Dakota? Sodak? It must be South Dakota. We've been cross country before. We've always wanted to go through the Dakotas. I think it's, I've heard it's been a really, really beautiful area. Uh, but I heard really tough winters, although we are from New England. But I heard that the winters out there might be a little bit worse. You tell me. And Ryan says, Good afternoon, Liam. Love your videos on specific breeds, especially your last one on Pipples. Thank you very much. We had to put down our 10 year old box of last spring, which left our 13 year old Shih Tzu without a friend. That's awful. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Now, we've been through that before. We recently went through that with our dog. Uh, the worst. We just had to put down. Uh, dog Penny uh, this summertime, so it's 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 a really awful awful thing. We adopted our terrier mix on October first this fall. We took our little dog for a meet and greet, and she approved of the big beast. Pretty awesome. Little dogs will let you know. They don't mess around. The little dogs will absolutely let you know. So she came home with us and is a great addition to our family. She loves everyone, big or small. That's awesome. That's amazing. She was abandoned in a house when the renters left. That's awful. I can't believe people would actually do that. We named her Elsie because she's mocked up like an old milk cow. I almost said that as soon as I saw the picture. Keep up the great videos. We do enjoy them. Ryan from Sodak. Ryan, thank you so much for all the support. So thoughtful. Very thoughtful. Very, very nice. Beautiful dog, by the way. Look at her. Ryan, it sounds like you're doing an awesome job with these guys. Thank you so much for the email. You're awesome. Extremely grateful for all your support. Thank you so much. Great dogs, by the way. She's adorable. Sodak. South Dakota. It's gotta be. If it's not, what else could it be? If it's something else, I'm, gonna feel, I'm pretty good with geography. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm pretty good with geography. It's gotta be South, South, it Dakota. Is South Dakota. It's South Dakota. If you're not from South Dakota, you're if not, it's not from South some, Dakota. You are from South Dakota. You have to tell everybody from South Dakota. Dakota. Next up we have from Denise. Denise writes, hey, I was watching your YouTube videos on pit bulls and I think your hair is absolutely stunningly beautiful. It's a very nice head of hair. Oh no, no. 
It just said right on. It just says right on. It says right on. <laughs> Sorry. I don't have my reading glasses, you guys. You need to be a lot, you need to be large in charge or they will take over. They will set the tone and schedule if you let them. Absolutely 100%. Mm -hmm. Every bully I've ever had was sweet and loving. Maya Dina was, was a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. She would greet you, let you in, show you the sofa to sit, but she wouldn't let you out unless Dave or I would say you could leave. Now, I've noticed that a lot of the Staffies, one of my friends has a Staffie, same thing. We used to have to distract the dog and I would run. <laughs> bolt for the door and get out and shut the door. It was like, my heart would be like racing. It was kind of fun. It was a little fun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> terrifying, but fun. Tudor would answer the door and announce you. He would, he was terrifying to people who were not his friends. It was my job to control and respect. Awesome job. Yeah. Absolutely. Now I have Fiona. She's a great dog. Everything is new and exciting for her. We work on manners every day. Excellent job. Very, very responsible. Great job. This is her trying to tell me about the tree schedule. The Shih Tzu here is, is her muscle. His name is Beanie. Sadly, he was he was with me for two months. Oh, and he died Friday. That's awful. I'm sorry. He had a brain tumor. He, saw, he looks so, so cute too. He must have, was he really young? He looks really, really young. Fiona was so gentle with him. Pits aren't all good and they aren't all bad. They are dogs. You're absolutely 100% yeah. right. And people like you, Denise, are the ones who are going to help this breed continue to improve. Fair. Sounds like you're a very, very dedicated dog owner and definitely have the right mindset and abilities to handle a breed like bully breeds. Thank you so much for the support. Grateful. Thank you so much for the email. Beautiful, beautiful dogs. I'm so sorry to hear about the Shih Tzu again, but best of luck going forward with little Miss Fiona. Okay, and last but not least is Alexis. Or is it Alexi? Oh no. Is it Alexi or Alexis? It's Alexa, right? Or no, it's Alexi? Alexa. Alexis? Oh no, it's Alexa. No, it's not Alexa. I'm Maybe there's more than one. Alexis. It's gotta be Alexis, okay? I apologize, I apologize. Alexis. It's Alexis. It's Alexis. It's Alexis. Okay, it's Alexis. It's a lovely name. It's a beautiful name, and so is Alexi. Alexi's a great name too. Both, I think, are up here in the name category. We are a busy hiking family from California. We're a very busy hiking family from Massachusetts. We have three dogs. We have th hey, we have three dogs. Same. What's going on here? You guys copying us? What's going on? We have a YouTube channel that focuses on dog breeds. What? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Olive is an 11 year old rescue Jack Russell Boston Boston Terrier mix. Oh my God! Wow. So I bet it still probably has a ton of energy. Mm -hmm. Noodle, great name, is a three year old Labadoodle. Our new addition is Mauser. Mauser, a five month old rescue German Shorty Pointer. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful short hit pointer too. All three of your dogs are very, very beautiful. They all love our kids and travel. We previously raised seeing eye dogs and then raised the hospital therapy dog. It's amazing. We plan to do some agility work with Mauser to help him be a confident backpacking companion. That's amazing. So fun. Very, very good idea. Alexis, thank you so much for the email. It sounds like you guys have an awesome family and the perfect dogs for your family. It sounds like you guys are really, really into them and are very, very active people, which makes total sense of these guys and it's probably very easy for you guys to handle these guys. I think it's very brilliant of you guys to be adding into some dog sports for them as well. You know, you know you're an active person, you know that you guys can handle it when you get three. You don't just stop at one. You don't just stop at one, you're like, all right, you know what, we got kids, we're busy, we're hiking, we get all this stuff going on, you know, and then also you get another dog and you're like, you know what, let's just make it three. And not only make it three, but we rescue it. Not only yeah. do we rescue it, we rescue a German short pointer. Obviously, you guys have what it takes to handle these types of dogs. So much respect to you guys. Thank you guys so much for the email. Very, very beautiful dogs. Thank you for all your support. You're awesome. I love that they add in all those activities. I love it. Yeah. We can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Everybody who's been emailing, everybody who's been commenting, liking, sharing the videos. The greatest things about these emails is this. It's a different perspective, okay? Me on this side of the camera, it's a very different perspective. I'm sitting here thinking, I don't know who's watching this. It's just me, right? It's just me at my shop or at home like we are right now uh, with the camera in front of us. To get the feedback from you guys through the emails is, is fantastic. It makes me feel really good to know that they're there are true passionate dog people who are watching this channel and that's what this is all about for us. It's nice to get this perspective and, and to know that people are uh, are really into this channel. I love that. Absolutely. So thank you guys so, so much for all the support. We really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button, also the notification button so you know when I'm posting a new video. Click like if you like the video. Share this video with your friends. I hope you guys had a great day with your dogs and we'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Cause aside from my soul